chosen ones, we have been lied to all our life of what it means to be truly rich. See, we've been programmed since we were kids, all the way to obviously, uh, to being an adult, you know, up till now, that being rich is just focusing strictly on money only, just chasing money endlessly. And look at, look at the world, look at the state of the world. Look how it plays out. If you know a person that chases money, well, uh, what, what's their state of being? They are, they don't feel good about themselves. They feel drained. You know, they've got uh, mental health issues. They feel empty inside. They don't feel fulfilled. That is, that is what, that is what a person looks like just taste, just chasing money. Something that is man made. You know, something that's something, something that a group of people have made an agreement on that this right here is, uh, is the, the poor value on a piece of paper. That's what it is. When you rip the paper, it's got no value no more. When you rip it, it has no value no more. I want you to let that sink in. It has no value no more. That's the that's the reality. So we've been brainwashed, apart from that side, we've been brainwashed by celebrities, you know? Because they, the, 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 the elites, uh, the elites pay these less celebrities to put, uh, push those agendas. And they, they are fooling us, big time. You can see when you watch these hip hop videos, all these music videos, they see they're in a luxury, luxury, uh, vacate, uh, luxury place. They see you got women, you got alcohol, um, you got women, you got alcohol, you got jewelry, you got cars, you know, all these things, yeah? All these things, they hypnotize us, put us in the hypnotic rhythm to brainwash us, to manipulate us that this right here is the is success. This is what you should be chasing. If you haven't got this, then you are a loser. You are nothing. That is what, that is basically what they, what they are portraying, the message. You see? That's why anxiety, stress, depressions are all time high because, uh, especially young people, this generation, they're just consuming. They are basically worshiping these celebrities, right? Uh, uh, research or uh, worship, uh, celebrity worship syndrome. Research, it's a real thing. They worship there, and way cool, and they they see that as a, oh, that is successful right here. Just being rich, being famous, you know, have all these resources. That is what truly being rich is. And again, that is that is a lie. That's that's not the truth or being which is. If you uh where you, you have heard of the, the saying um the life balance, keyword life balance. So so it's, it's focus on all your time and energy and neglecting your mental health, your spiritual health, your emotional health, and if focusing on money, what do you think that, that leads to? That leads to that's the gateway to hell. That's the reality. They get it to hell. Yes, I'm going to just no matter, no matter how much money you have, fame, especially money, how many of is exactly the same. It doesn't change you. It doesn't change you as a person. You know, it only amplifies who you are. So if you if you got mental health problems, then when you have money, you got more health mental health problems. If you got any insecurities, once you have money, you got more insecurities. That's the reality. Anything that you are, you just amplify it. It's just an uh, enhancer. You know, just like you're taking the, the juice. Like they're saying, it's just an enhancer. That's all it is. You know? I'm not discouraging it uh, about the, the value of money. Don't get me wrong. Money is very important, you know? To, uh, to, money is very important to, to unlock your potential. To live your, to live your best life. To make a massive influence on the humanity. So many things that money can do. So money is a problem solver. Put it that way. Simple. So that is what we've been manipulated, deceived. And also the shaitan, Satan, whatever you want to call it, Lucifer, whatever. That is what he wants. He wants, uh, in, the, in the Quran, he said uh, he's going to take as many people with him as possible. And he has, uh, unfortunately, sadly, he has succeeded. You know, that's what it looks like. Because he's... Because you can see that everyone, everyone, nobody values, when you look at it, nobody values words. When you say someone gives someone advice, <clears throat> you're empowering them. 
You make them feel good. You make them feel important. People don't value that. Just assess your friends and family. When you give them advice or anything, they'll be like, yeah, 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 true, 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 yeah, yeah. They'll be like, yeah, true, 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 true. But by your, by your mental health, how to improve your mental health, or is it, do we have a wellness? Important that's, that's, going to, that's going to impact their life in a massive way if they take it on board. But they'll be like, yeah, yeah, true, true. It goes in one ear here and goes out the other ear. They don't value that. People don't value words. What people value is the physical. That's everyone worships. People, <laughs> religious people, doesn't matter how religious you are, doesn't matter what, what religion you follow, what you call it, you are indirectly uh, worshiping money. You're not worshiping God. Let that sink in. You are worshiping, you are worshiping uh, God. That's not your, not your intention, but in the, your action show it. It's not your intention, I know that, but it's not your, but your action shows it. That you're indirectly worship of money. They were just a man made. Just that. Which is uh, the devil's weapon. You know? To hypnotize people. And there was a word called hypnotic rhythm. And that is uh, what the devil uses. That word was powerful too. Money. Because then, then he able to come in and hypnotize you. You know? And we get to a point where you know, you use your own initiative. You just, uh, your mind's not involved. You're just doing it. You know, you're just doing it. And you do things that you can't imagine doing. You do things you can't you, you do your things that you can't imagine doing. Probably gonna host a party. You know, and do what uh, and do what Didi uh, all that bullshit that Didi, Didi is doing. For example, you you'll do something that you don't imagine doing. You create a, a bad habit that you don't imagine doing. You see? And that is the price of uh of just prioritizing money and nothing else. So now I'm going to flip the switch now. So now I understand now where it leads to now. It's a gateway to hell. Yes, I'll go for it. It's a gateway to own, unfulfilled life. No happiness, no joy, no peace of mind. None of that. You see? The balance, as I said before, life balance is your a true rich person, <coughs> which nobody tell away, by, by the way. Nobody, your friends, your family, doesn't matter how, long, how many years you know them for, your wife, nobody will tell you. It would be very difficult for someone to find out that the true, the true uh, uh, person being rich is rich mentally, physically, and spiritually. That is what a rich person is. If you don't mind, let's break it down. I'm going to break it, break it down. And I recommend you get this book. It explains it, the importance of being rich mentally, physically, spiritually. Because if you're just financially rich, you are broke as fuck. Yeah, I know it's a harsh word said right now. You know, but that's the reality. You're broke as fuck. I hope you all not understand that you got to understand me. You overstand me. That's the reality. You see? So it's talking about being rich mentally, physically, spiritually. It's talking about mental now. Mental is learning a skill. You know, mental learning a skill. Mental is uh, self-control. Mental is to control your thoughts. You know, mental is to project positive uh, visuals to the universe. Mental is mental is uh, practicing relaxation techniques like meditation. You know, uh, yoga, walking to nature, doing grounding, grounding. That is where you're mentally rich because you are uh, you are you've controlled this right here, man, and you're projecting to reality positivity, <clears throat> empowerment. You are a magnet. You're raised, you're shifting the consciousness of consciousness of the people. That's where you, you that's what the meaning of being rich mentally. Physically, you are fit, you got, you got a fit a strong body. You're doing a, a physical activity that you enjoy to do, and you're doing it, you know, to make you feel good inside and be healthy inside and outside. You know, this can be bodybuilding, it can be CrossFit, this can be yoga, this can be playing football, basketball, whatever. You express yourself you mentally and now you make, you purify yourself, you purify your mind, body, and soul, and you feel good. So it doesn't matter. And this was a great tool because whether you are anxiety, stress, depression, you, you broke up, you lost your job, you got money issues. This right here, go to go and go express yourself physically and watch what happens. Guess what's gonna happen? Mental clarity. 
with clarity, enthusiasm up, confidence up. Now your, your, mind, your mind and body is connected, so now you're able to find solution, make the right decision. That's the way you, that's what you mean. That's what it means when you, when you are physically rich. You're eating to live, not to die. Just look around you. If you're aware enough, look around you. Who is to live? To, who is to live? No, no, um, nobody does. A very small percentage of people eat to live. Eat to live. Small percentage. Most people eat to die. What's that? Uh, junk food, processed food, drugs. That is what that is what people consume when you look around. You see fizzy drinks, chocolates, you see vaping, you see cigarettes, it's common, you see outside, you see everywhere, you see it. See? So we're walking, we are we are around we on, on the earth for full of sick people, sick people. That's being that is being physically poor. That is broke. You see? Because you're you're dying. You can have all these money, yeah, but you're dying every day. You're not living. You don't feel good. So it's a matter how much money you have, whatever, you don't mean change nothing. Because to, uh, to to have a healthy temple, you have to earn it. It's never given. You have to earn it. You can't buy that. You have to earn it. So that's physically. Spiritually, sound is uh, spe uh, having positive, self positive thoughts. Um, what you call it, your positive self-image about yourself, that you're, that you're strong, you're smart, you know, Every, the highest ideal of yourself, you know, you're inspirational, you're, you're motivated, you know, uh, spiritual, your words hold power, you're projecting empowerment into the universe, you understand, you don't say things like, I can't do it, it's impossible, no, you say that I can do it, I will do it, everything that you empower yourself on that, to raise your, to raise your vibration, Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. That's what you. That's what it means you're when you're rich spiritually. You're visualizing your ideal life on that. Or who you see, who, who, who do you see becoming? You see, you 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 you're aware of yourself. You have your behavior. Your your behavior, your action. That's what it means you're rich spiritually. You see how I broke it down. That's the truth of being rich. But you see now somebody, uh, you see people, um, but you see all the time, so many stories. You see people that have got, what you call it, what's the lottery, what end up happening? They lose all their money. Uh, they're drug addicts. They, uh, where's the game? They look older than they look and they end up with uh, no job, end up back, back to the, back to a worse position they were before, before they got, uh, before they, before they got rich. And that person within three to five years. What do you got your favorite rapper? Drugs, drug addicts. Look, look at him, face falling, not healthy, overweight. You see? That's the reality. And so this article showed that people that have got motivated, that motivated as bonus, they've got a high amount of stress. They got a headache, they're not healthy. Or they focus, most of the time they focus on money. They don't focus on anything else apart from money. That's what they focus on. And that leads to disaster, chaos. You see? They're, they're known, they got their money, the fame, they got whatever, they, whatever that you uh, wish to have. But they haven't got a peace of mind. They neglected their mental health, their spiritual health. All they focus on is their, is their, their business, focus on money, that's it. What kind, of life, what kind of life? Is that the life you want to be living? Well, each to their own. God have given us all a free will, a gift, a free will to do what's, uh, to, to do what's best for us. That's the reality. You understand? So the true rich person, I want you to know the message is, is rich mentally, physically, and spiritually. That's what my knowledge experience. I, I've realized, I've lived it, that, that's, that that is the best way to live life, to live a happy, joyous, successful life. You know? But if you don't see other perfected, that's up to, up to your choice, your life. You know? Just make the, make the right decision. Time is, time is sticking. It's not waiting for no one. You see that? So you don't want to be 70, 80 years old and live in regret the decision that you made. You know, and that all you have all your life, you chase the money all the till you die. Imagine, you chase it all your life. Tell yourself it's man-made. Man-made in that. That can rip off. That divides nothing. And you are, uh, what you call it, your life's over and sit there in regret. And sit there in regret. Too late, you can't change it no more. You understand?
So be very conscious and aware of the decision you make it. If you're happy with it, proceed so, man. Where am I to tell you which direction to go to? Where am I to tell you what to do with your life? Do you understand? So that's pretty much the end of the video, really, man. Um, chosen ones. They, they lie to us about what about being truly rich is and that, man. So start to wake up, man. Start to shift your vibration, raise your vibration, and do the right thing, man. You understand? So if they call the boy your values, just hit that red subscribe button. Hit that like button. Comment down below. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Chosen ones. Peace out and blessings. And one message, for, one message for you is that try your very best to be least be. 1% better or 0.5% just a little just a little bit better and better better and watch your life change forever